Back in the year, mumble mumble, many years ago, I was challenged to replicate a trick that Uri Geller, remember him, did for Barbara Walters on TV. Now what you'll see here first is a very bad quality outtake from a video copy of this program done way back when Barbara Walters had a morning program called Not For Women Only. The two magicians you'll see on the set with me are Mark Wilson from the magic land of Alakazam and the late Doug Henning, who was currently on Broadway at that time with his very successful live stage show. Barbara's producer, whose name I've mercilessly forgotten long ago, didn't care much for me and threw every obstacle into my path as I tried to work my tricks. Somehow I persevered and rather surprised both Mark and Doug who were in stitches laughing when I told them later how I'd done my sneaky stuff. They'd missed it, though they were right in close. Now Geller had bent Barbara's key, a key about like this. She describes it as being done with psychic powers, this trick, and she was obviously very impressed with it. Let's look at the first part of this video and see just what this old codger, somewhere around 33 years ago, was up to. A year ago, we did on this program, a week on psychic phenomenon. We did it very seriously. One of our uh, panel members was Uri Geller, who is a young Israeli and has been tested by the Stanford Institute and by other scientists and is said to have psychic powers. We had the uh, former astronaut Edgar Mitchell on with us, who believes in very much in Uri Geller. And Randy, you've been going around the country somewhat as Houdini used to in the past, trying to debunk those who say that it's psychic power. You say it's magic. Right. Well, Barbara, you see, in what you said just now, there's something rather revealing to me because you say that he's been tested by the scientists at the Stanford Research Institute. First of all, Stanford Research Institute is not connected in any way with Stanford University, though it happens to be on the grounds. It takes its name from its, its locality. And the Stanford Research Institute, as an institute, did not test a regular. Two scientists there whose specialty is lasers, nothing to do with psychology, nothing to do with conjuring, certainly, whose specialty is lasers, went through some private tests with Uri Geller under anything but test conditions. And since then, the psychology department down there, and I've read this in one of the psychological journals, has tested him, gave him a hundred envelopes that he was supposed to guess the contents of, and he failed each and every well, one look, of the hundred. Let me show some things he did with me. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm a pretty honest person, okay? I mean, we all know. Uh, right, I understand uh, that, no yes. kidding. This is my house key. Mm -hmm. Uri Geller took it. Let's take this other one. It's a matching key. He went like this with it, with his finger. That's all. No pressure. And the key bent. You can see that. And I've carried it around because I found that I'm a believer now. He also, people in the audience said that their keys bent. Well, I can't prove that, but I can prove that mine did. Here is my identical key. Touch it and make it bend. Now, now do we have another piece today. of metal. I need another piece of metal. He didn't use metal. He just used his finger. No, that's very true. That's very true. But I want, I want to show you a okay, comparison. Okay, another key. Give me my, another key. That's now, this the is the bent one. one. Now, which camera is taking this? Can we, can we get a close-up here now? All right. Now, that's the original okay, bent you can one. see the bent one here. There is a, a definite bend in here. Is that right? right? Okay. okay. Now, watch. Watch it very carefully. I am going to see if I can... This is a different one from this one. This one's a duplicate. Am I correct? Right. This one has a stamp on it saying 207 West something. This doesn't have a stamp on it. You see the little stamp on it there? Yeah. Would you hold the end of it very lightly in between your fingers, Barbara? And I'm just going to stroke it. Now, I'm not putting enough pressure on it to bend it. No. Okay. I'm just going to stroke it with my fingers very lightly like this. Now, look at the bend that's in the other key. No, I won't take my eyes off this key. Very good. I'm glad to hear you say that. Would you show it to the camera, please? Now, is it bent as much as this key or not? Okay. Are you going to keep this key too, Barbara? On your keychain? Next, Barbara spoke about the drawing replication trick, one of the only five tricks that Geller has ever been known to do. Her producer had challenged me to do it, hoping for a failure, of course. Barbara had made a drawing to test me and carefully kept it in her hot little hand right until she showed it on the set. Both Mark and Doug thought I'd go down in flames, but I had a couple of twists for them and for the audience. Show the Uri, the, the Uri Oh, Geller we're going to show a tape. Okay, okay, very can good. Can we show that? This is where he read my mind and reproduced a picture that only I had. Okay, just a second, look at me. Visualize everything that you drew once more. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show what I got, and if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but 
it really came very strongly. I'll just I'll tell you what first I thought it was and what it comes to appear now. Uh, first I thought there were two churches with peaks on or two houses. Then it turned to a letter M, and then it, uh, it could be two mountains with a round thing on or two people. I, I, uh, Can I show? I, yeah, I'd like to. Am I wrong? You're right. I'm right. Good. That's what I got. The this letter M, M, if you got a letter M, yeah, it may not be because of that, but because my drawing is a drawing similar to one that my child does. It's a mother and child. Oh, that's... Oh. Oh. This is it. We have not had this, this envelope out of our sight. Randy has in no way been close to it. The closest you've been to it, to my knowledge, it's is right now. Mm -hmm. Reproducing. Did you put it back in the book? I want to make sure that it is under good control. I believe I can. <laughs> All right, Barbara, I'm going to ask you to concentrate on what's drawn inside there. That's the point of concentrating. I know now. Watch this, Wilson. It may surprise you. Oh, <laughs> you surprise me. It may surprise everybody. <laughs> Are you concentrating on what you Can drew I look in at there? You? Uh, I don't want you to see the end of the pen move. You may look and say, hmm, no, that doesn't look quite right. You speak a song begins. You saw the I hear a violin. It's tragic. <laughs> I'm a very bad artist. You'll have to pardon me, Barbara, but uh, all right. I've made what I believe to be an impression of it. Now, it can't be altered in any way. Would you be kind enough to open up the envelope and let's see how right I was? Oh, I, like Uri says, thanks God, I hope I'm right on this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way he says it, you know. Well, open it up and show it to the camera, if you'd be so kind. Where's the canvas? Here's a camera. Is that a house? It's a little, well, I don't draw so and well. It's a little house and a sun, okay. and here's a little person. A house, that's the house, that's the sun, and that's a little <laughs> that's person. Well, you'll pardon me for being a very bad artist, uh, Barbara, but I didn't get the sun at all. I got the little person, but I got the little person inside the house and the smoke coming out to the top here. That's all we could get of it. This... Thanks God, I'm you a, got it. Thanks, thanks God I got this. <laughs> yes. Yes, we got the house. With the, You're going to debunk this man, whom everybody believes. You have to tell us how you do it. I'm going to add the sun here to make Come my on, results a little bit better. How, <laughs> how about that, folks? Randy. Yes, you can't quite see the drawing that I made because it was made with a simple ballpoint pen, not a broad marker as Geller had used. I assure you, it was very similar to Geller's. But notice, please, that Barbara played right into Geller's hands when she revealed her original drawing by inventing the M connection which he'd meant to refer to the shape of the drawing. In any case, working through great difficulties, I managed to come through. Now, Barbara and I have met many times on many different programs since that event 33 years ago, and we just don't talk about this. I've never had to give her an explanation. She's satisfied that she doesn't have an explanation, and she's still confounded. But that's the way it should be. You don't explain these things to the people who experience them because they say, oh yeah, I would have thought of that. But Barbara wouldn't have thought of this at all. Some of you magicians out there, if you watched very carefully, you can see the gimmick that I used. We thank you for watching this latest episode of James Randi Speaks. For more of James Randi and the Educational Foundation, make sure you visit randy.org.